Inside of the new update, they actually added a brand new map, and today I'm going to showcase you and give it my thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, the first match of today's video is on the new map, Thin Ice, and we are against Yekko here. Um, So, let's freaking get it. Now, what route does the AI balloons come from, and what rounds? Okay, that is how it works. All right, all right, all right. I see, I see. Start with a dartling down here, maybe? Not exactly sure if this is the spot to use it. Maybe I should put, I probably should put it more to the right, to be honest, now that I think about it. Okay, well, this isn't going to be my HRP spot anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much, but, um, yeah, I'm trying out Darling Farm here. Don't even know how many farms you can fit on this map, because I've never played on it before. This is the first time I've played on it or seen it been played, but, um, we are see how it goes. We'll see how it goes here. Have some fun on the new map, you know what I'm saying? Get my, um, Azili down, probably right here. It's a fine spot for it. Perfect. Put that on strong. Nice. It actually seems like a decently easy map. It's two path, which makes it interesting, but um, it is kind of long. It is kind of long, so I'm not exactly sure we met on this map. I seem feels like feels like bomb's probably pretty good though. Just thinking about what my opponent's bringing. Bomb. Oh my gosh! Look at that cluster spot. Oh dude, I think I just like had an aneurysm there. What the heck is that cluster spot? Is crazy. It just like it's that whole area. Wow. All right, let's get powerful darts here. Dude, that cluster spot is nuts. I'm not gonna lie. That cluster spot is absolute nuts. Okay, well, we'll definitely have to try a bomb strategy at some point on this map, because holy bejeebers. Let's get my farm up. Try to place this as low as possible. I should be able to fit two farms in here pretty easily. Is it, I think you might only be able to fit four farms on this map, though, now that I think about it. It's like, we're out. Can you fit farms on the edges? Because I don't know, like, if. Is that okay? You can actually fit farms on the edges. I wasn't sure if you could fit stuff on this, like, um, the white snow part, but you can. Okay, so there's actually a decent amount of farm spots then. There's a decent amount of farm spots then. So we should be chilling with our strategy. Our strategy is probably decent on this map. Hopefully. I brought Azelia as well, so Azelia is going to be harder early game, but um, late game Azelia is going to be fantastic for me. The greater production here. Send him some white balloons. I'm not sure if this will even force anything. It might force a bigger bombs, and that's it. There's no way he needs to get heavy shells against white balloons on this map, because that bomb spot again is crazy. That bomb spot is crazy. Faster barrel spin. Perfect. Okay, they, yeah, they get bigger bombs. And, dude, it's so it's so satisfying to see it pop down on those white balloons as well. I'll be honest. That bomb spot is very satisfying to watch it watch it do its work. It literally gets that whole area. Like, this entire area with the cluster. That is that is nuts. Okay, enough talking about the bomb spot. Um, We'll start saving up for this um plantation here. We get that up, we'll be pretty chillin'. Be pretty chillin' once I get that plant up. Round seven. Engineer could also be good on this map, now that I think about it, because um, it is dual pass, so you have some good engineer spots. This could be a good ninja elk. Uh, could it be a good ninja elk map? I don't know, actually. Could maybe be good ninja elk map. I feel like there could be a lot of strategies on this map. I feel like there's probably a wide variety of strategies that are usable on this map. All right, got our plant up. That's fantastic. Spaced rainbows. Where do I want to place my HRP here? Maybe like right here. The fine spot for it. Yeah, we'll, we'll place our HRP right here. That'll be the spot I use. Send some space zebras. Or enemy zebras. Might go for a third dartling. I did not even need. Okay, still sending. Never mind. We'll go for a third. Third dartling was probably a good idea. How much do you sell for? Two thousand two hundred fifty. So I need three thousand. All right. I'm a little bit off. I'll be honest. I might have to sell my farm. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Trust. 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 Chilling. We're full vibe in here. Base rainbows should not be an issue. They got sub. Okay, so they have sub. So it's not village, which means we definitely have a massive late game advantage here. We can sub. So we'll take that. Go for one more dartling right here. So if I boost, I have two boosted dartlings. And we'll keep eco on. 
Looks like they're actually done ecoing. So they're done ecoing pretty early. They might be trying to go for like an early monkey wall sheet route or something like that. That could be. Okay, so now they're, they're back to ecoing now. They're back to ecoing. Oh, that's a remove obstacle part. I was wondering why. Okay, they're sending me a rush. Honestly, this, this map is so long. Yeah, we're chilling. Dartling is actually pretty good on this map too. You've got pretty good lines of fire with the Dartling. Yeah, I was going to say, they need to send like a massive rush to force um, a boost there. Because this map is quite long. And if they send regions, then you can obviously use the Rego blocker. That's why they didn't send regions. But Keep Max Eco in here. So you can fit two farms on both sides. Look at that. I just noticed their side, their farm spots. I wonder if you can fit farms like all the way up the line. There might actually be a ton of farm spots on this map. I wonder if that's possible. Start to mix in some pink eco here. We're going to go pretty high on the eco. Pretty dang high on the eco today. Round 17. Let's target this totem down here. We'll go for one more dartling. That should be able to defend this mob. I probably didn't even need the third dartling. All right, they're sending me balloons behind. We use totem here. That should defend. We're chilling. Did I boost this? Or are we good? I think we're good. Dude, Dartling on this map is crazy. Look at that defend, bro. We're built different with our defense today. That's how you do it. I honestly probably overreacted by using Totem against the first rush. Because Totem would have been better against that second push there. But we defended it anyways because Dart Dartling's crazy. 2150 eco. You just have so much time to defend on this map because Dartling pretty much has a good line of fire against like the balloons at all parts for the synth path. So it's really helpful. Um, we'll get this thing up here. No way. Okay, we got it up. Nice. Buckshot. Be safe here. We're chilling. They're sending me a BFB. Um, I didn't say BFB. It's fortified. Honestly, what if I go for a Dartling army here? How does this do? Because I can all see his totem. That's my thought process. Dartling army with totem. This this obstacle is actually kind of annoying. I probably just remove it at some point. They keep accidentally clicking it. Totem. We're chilling. That's how you do it. Love to see it. ZOMG, we'll just use Hex eventually against this. We'll keep farming. I'm really liking how Dartling feels in this map right now. I am enjoying this match. Okay. Let's remove this obstacle. It's actually bugging me a lot. Let's remove it. Get it out of here. How much does this easy hex cost? 7,000? Oh, that's expensive. It's 1.5k more than they spent on that ZMG. But it's probably the best option here. Yeah, we'll get it. I don't think I can wait till hex for next round. I don't think I can wait. I get 6k for selling those. 21k. 22.5k in total. If I sell those. I also sell my HRP if it like, comes down to it. I can do like the old Monkey Wall Street plays where you sell literally everything for it. But I think I'll be able to afford it without selling my HRP here. Yeah, we're good. Calculated. They got their Monkey Wall Street up, but they sold everything. Are they good? They're good, they're good. Nicely done. 
I don't know why I'm placing my farms in the middle still. I actually need to be placing them on the edges because like I'm taking up ninja spots, which is not good. I didn't even think about that till now. I just need to place my farms like down here. I should have been doing that. Round 26. Did they just sell their monkey Wall Street? Oh, they're trying to get up a banana central, that's it. I'll let them do it. I could probably send them DTs, but there's the off chance that they just like saved up extra money. So then like they could bait me into sending DTs and then they just defend miraculously. So we're just not gonna even bother. We're not gonna even bother, chat. Eight, seven. Got laser shock. He sends me a rush. I can get up a plasma accelerator. We're chilling. I probably didn't even need it there to be honest. But better safe than sorry. Oh, they've got pretty crazy farms now. But we're full vibe and we're chilling. They also don't have biker bones, but I mean, I guess that doesn't make that much of a difference when you have sub because lots of your BD damage will be coming from first strikes anyways. But biker bones is definitely the better hero, I think. And their loadout. Biker bones is normally the preferred variant. Um, we have hex as well. I normally don't have Azizi with Darling Farm Ninja, so this is actually really good late game because we have hex and we have the totem. So we're, our late game is really strong here. I'm happy with my chances. Very happy with my chances. Oh, we're actually like equal on farms somehow. I don't know how that happened. I thought they were out farming it by a lot. Alright, they send me a BED and you go for an MAD. They do. Wait for this round to end so then I can get my Monkey Wall Street money, please. I still have three boosts as well. So I think I just boost as well against this. Boost. Oh, I'm, I'm mistargeting. I'm trying to place this down. Come on, place. All I need to do is hex the insides now. We just hex the insides here. And that should be able to defend. We don't need Master Bomber when we have Azili, which is nice. Or at least you don't need it early on. I probably could have done that without boosting, to be honest, as well. But better safe than sorry. Did they just boost against AI? And they're still... Oh. Why do people have to sell the content, dude? This guy's a top 10 bat from last season? They're just handing them out to anyone these days? I'll catch y'all next one. Alright, guys. Last match of the videos against Oko iOS. So, uh... Yes, sir. And they're starting with their tax tree there. They're probably going to farm Wiz with Quincy. Because I know they brought Quincy here. So, that is my, um current prediction it is a popular on this map basically against it you just want to play on um, very passively with bomb because you have a big late game advantage here and they've got to be aggressive towards you so that's probably what's going to happen today i was really excited for the last match dude that could have we could have had such good defense there i really like darling ninja farm i really liked how darling ninja farm felt on that map though i really do like how it felt felt strong and darling felt like really good defensively like because you just have so so many good lines of fire for the dartling that it's they have to send such a big rush to force defense you know or like a boost or something so yeah that was a, that was a good that was a good game good one so i'm assuming yellow's here clear this obstacle and start saving for my farm oh also let's use our secret balloon bot and farm replacement ladies and gentlemen again secretive on don't tell anyone outside of the rhyme channel about these placements guys it is very important to keep these placements on the down low I'm selling them on the black market right now for ten dollars per spot. All right, one one income boost. I'll be able to get my um farm up. Blaze, please. Thank you. They got their farm down as well. They actually went for a blade shooter already. I don't think they need a blade shooter against yellow balloons, but maybe I'm wrong. Get my bigger bombs here. So I stop leaking the pinks. Nice. And then we'll need to get biker bones down next round. 
Can I go for a farm upgrade and still afford Biker Bones this round? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see. Because I'd like round five Biker Bones. It's just a better leveling curve getting at round five than round six. So, let's see if we can get down this round. Place, please. Thank you. Alright, we're chilling. Oh, I need to send them whites now. We can force a um, faster shooting on their attack shooter. There it is. Beautiful. Take it. Oh, they have a secret farmer spot as well. I didn't even notice that. Yo, we're selling that spot for $15. This bottom spot's for $10. That top spot's for $15. Let me see if I can get it down. If I can fit this. Oh, man. There's actually a lot of area up here. Okay. Secret farmer spot version 2.0. Can you fit anything else up here? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. No, no shot. Base purples. Should we get this plantation here in a second? And then we'll only save up for heavy bombs because if he sends me region zebras at the start of round nine and I don't have heavy bombs, then it's deathly because the bombs at the very start, so it won't pop them down in the region all the way full and then I'll just die. So I need to make sure I've got heavy bombs on standby if he sends region zebras. Okay, it doesn't look like they are. Go for this valuable bananas. I can also use biker ability to pop some of them too. He did send. It's in normal zebras. Normal zebras aren't really deadly. Okay, we're good now. My eco is very solid. I'm happy with this. They got wizard as I expected. Let's emerge and support. Be ready to boost if he sends a big rush. Okay, they got their necromancer up. Well done. My eco's looking solid here. They definitely are, definitely expect them to send me some rush here soon because they have to be aggressive here. No, they're just ecoing. That is not the play, Mr. Oko iOS. You need to send me rushes. You need to force that reactor on me. Force some defense. I don't know. Just playing passive here is not going to cut it. Because we will just be able to defend later on. Bomb is what you call a mid-game menace, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. We'll see, though. Currently, I'm happy with my position. I'm very happy with how this is going. My eco is very solid. We're full vibing. We should be able to fit a bomb next to Biker as well. I'm always careful with my placement so I can do that. Stop at 1250 eco for now because I need forward a I need to forward a molar for round 17. Very important. 1251. All right. Yeah, we can fit it right here. That's exactly what I wanted. Put that 50 in strong. Okay, I have enough money for the molar, so I can actually eco more. They aren't sending. Alright, we'll keep ecoing. Uh, let's get the smaller up anyways. Just to be safe. If they send a fortified mob next round, I go for a ballistic with um bottom cross path. And I boost. Do I need a no that should that defense, that defense. Trust. Ballistic cleans that up. Yep. Look at that. Nice defense. I used to go for two clusters, but it's definitely better to go for ballistic instead. Because two clusters wouldn't have defended that. Ballistic's a little bit more expensive than a cluster bomb, but it's definitely the move. There. How much do you sell for? 4.5k. I don't think I'm affording. No, I'm not. Let's go for more farms then. It's very hard to afford a BRF before round 20 on this map, just because this map gets anti-stalled harder than like any other map in the game. Let's see if they send me a BFB. It doesn't look like it currently. Still curious as to what their plan is for this match, just because it's not looking good too good for them right now. Um, 
Yeah. Round 22. Maybe they're going to do like a round 24 allowed at me or something. I'm not sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and find out here. I should probably be careful. We're good. Alright. Almost died. They're not going to cap. A little scary. ZMG is not going to be an issue. We just first strike it. He's sending a fortified behind. 30k. Do I... Do I try something out? Does this work, chat? Because they buffed the IMF alone. One sec, one sec. It's just a math real quick. 30k. 50k. It's going to work. It's literally going to work. I think I'm the smartest person known to mankind. Well, I do sell all my farms doing this, but it's pretty interesting. It's, it's an interesting tech. IMF alone for defending. Because now he can't send me anything. Like, they literally can't send me anything after I have that up. So I've basically won the match, I think. Like, how are you getting through a balloon crush? You know? Especially because we're going to get up some clusters for insides. And then we're just going to be full vibing. That IMF, that de defensive IMF loan, though. Okay, they got their Prince of Darkness. But the thing is, we have a, we have a big eco lead, too, here. We've got a big eco lead here. I could have obviously probably just first strike the ZMGs too, but I wanted to try out the defensive IMF loan tech because that's inter that's an interesting concept. It is an interesting concept. Yeah, we popped the first one down finally. Inside should not be an issue. Go for a Mauler. We're chilling. Holy cow, why did the balloons get almost through? I don't know. That was scary. I should probably go for more, um, what's it called? Balloon impacts towards the back. We're still paying off our debts, that's funny. We are still paying off our debts here. Oh, if they, defend, if they send me around 30 BD, what do I do? Can I even defend around 30 BD? I don't think so. It would have been so much smarter for me just to... Dude, it would have been so much smarter for me just to first strike. But if they send you like an all-out rush, like think about if you sent me like all-out ZMGs, then this would have been a smart plan, right? But he didn't send me an all-out rush, did he? He just sent me a couple. So it's like... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I definitely think it's going to send me a BAD next round. Wait. I can send a BD. I have three balloon boosts. Do they have three balloon boosts? I might, my BD is going to be faster, I think. Because I can use this again. I can send him a BD. Yo, there's no chance they defend the BD, right? So we just need to send it as quickly as possible in balloon boost at the start. And I think my BD will be faster. I mean, I can try to defend, too. Like, it's a normal BD, so there's actually a chance I defend. They got an Archmage up and boosted. Oh my gosh, it's actually popping it. Low key. I think I defend, to be honest. Yeah, I defended. I, def I defended. Then we just win. I didn't actually think I'd be able to defend. Well, that was a normal BD. If he's in fortified, I don't think there's any chance I'd defend. And that's a GG. Well, actually, I sent him a BD as well. So if I didn't send him a BD, I think we can just defend a fortified there. Crazy enough. That was an interesting game. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that IMF loan tech. I kind of like the IMF loan tech there. Dude, Archmage is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That kind of like 
was shredding. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe down below. What is your thoughts on the new map? I want to know in the comment section. Right, my god. Peace, lads.